This video is for the Alex topic using a net to find surface area. Now the surface area of a three-dimensional object refers to how much space the outside of it takes up. And so if you're going to paint a box or you're going to wrap a box in paper, um, you'd be using the surface area to know how much paint or how much wrapping paper or whatever it is you're doing, you're going to need. So we're focusing on the outside of our shape. And we're told our dimensions here in the box. But then what we did right, is we unfolded that box and created what is called a net. So our first step is to determine the measures of each of these sides. So we're going to match our values on our net to our values on our closed up box. So I want you to imagine folding it back up and then what side lengths are going to align. We get that A, that longest side, is 10, and our unit here is centimeters, by the way. So 10 centimeters. B is that shortest side, so that is three centimeters. And then C and D, when we fold them up, they are actually the same. So they are both six centimeters. So now that we've got our sides, we can take the area of each face, right? Remember that each part of a three-dimensional object or each side is called a face. So our faces are A times B. And that's these um, Yeah, these long skinny sides, a, no, sorry. That's the bigger rectangular sides, the front and the back of our box are a, no, oh my gosh. I was right the first time. A, B are the longer skinny sides. So our narrow ones, 10 times three. Another one of our lengths is AD, right? and that's the front and the back of the box, that longer set, that bigger rectangle, which you could also write as AC. Right? Either one of those would be correct because those are the same measure. And then our last thing that we're looking at would be the top and the bottom of the box is three by six or BD or BC, whichever one you choose to write. And so we calculate all of that. But now I can't just add these up, right? That'll only give me half the figure. So I need to multiply each one of these by two, and that is what I am adding together. Or if you really want to add first, you can do that. You'll get 108 centimeters, but you need to remember to multiply that by two to account for the entire box. So either way, you're multiplying by two. You're either multiplying all of these individually by two and then finding your sum, or you're adding them up and then multiplying by two. No matter which way you do it, you get a final surface area of 216 centimeters squared. So the steps. You label your dimensions. You determine what each um, face is, so the area of each face. Make sure you don't get mixed up like I did, because that was embarrassing. And then you either multiply by two and add, or add and multiply by two.